everyone! I'm Kim from the Brantford Public Library and welcome to Get Your Game On! We're going to tell you some great game ideas that you and your family can enjoy together that don't involve any screens. We've been on our screens so much for school and for work lately, so these are some really great ideas that you can all enjoy together and have lots of fun. You don't have to have a birthday in order to have lots of fun playing party games. Party games are often very simple, have simple rules that everyone can understand, don't need many supplies, and create really fun memories for you and your family. The first party game that you could make at home is called Headbands, and it's adapted from uh, an actual board game called Headbands. So, all you need is to cut up some strips of paper, which I've done here, and make a headband with, put together with tape that fits on your head, like so. Then you need either construction paper, or I used index cards, um, or you could use sticky notes as well. You also need a timer, or you could use a kitchen timer, and a paper clip. So, first you're going to write down on your pieces of paper um, things or um, people or food. Uh, so my examples were banana or dog or um, anything else. It could be a place like the library. Take your piece of paper and paper clip it to the front of your headband. Or if you're using the sticky notes, all you need to do is sticky it to the front of your headband. So without looking, you've chosen your card and put it on your head. And so the idea is to, I have to guess what's on my card by asking only yes or no questions. And you can do it um, with a timer, or you could say uh, you only have 20 questions before uh, you can guess it. And uh, you can adapt this to any age. You can make the cards more difficult, easier, depending on who you're playing with. And this can be a really fun, goofy one to play as a family uh, as you're trying to figure out what's on your card. So have fun with that one. Another really fun, easy party game is Pictionary, which you may have played before, also based on um, an actual board game, but really easy to use at home. So all you need is, um, you could use a whiteboard or a little whiteboard from the dollar store, or you could just put up a piece of paper on the wall or a window at home, and you need um, pieces of construction paper, again, to write your items on, or index cards, and a timer, or again, the kitchen timer. And all you have to do is write down things on the piece of paper and fold them up. Um, again, it could be things like we did before, like banana, or you could do phrases such as drying your hair or broken leg, and split yourself into teams. And one member of the team chooses the piece of paper, looks at it secretly, and has to draw it on the board and their teammate has to guess it in um, the timer or um, the kitchen timer if you're using that. So this is a really fun one because uh, especially if you have a few people on each team, they're shouting out and guessing and trying to guess it uh, while the other team is watching and it can get really fun and silly as well. And again, you can adjust the um, categories or the words based on who's in your family and um, whether you want them harder or easier. So it's a really fun one to do. 
Another fun category of games is called retro games, which is games that have been around for centuries that your parents and your grandparents might have played. And we wanted to reintroduce you to some of these because they're super easy, hardly any supplies, and you can do them waiting in line, waiting for dinner. So one of these categories is pen and paper games. And some of these you might just have forgotten about and you could reintroduce them to your family. And so the first one we might know as Hangman, but another version is called Snowman, where you have to guess the word, but instead of drawing a, a man, you're drawing a snowman. So every time you get a letter wrong, you have to draw part of the snowman. That could be really fun and good for um, learning words and spelling as well. The other one is a good old tic-tac-toe. You could play anywhere at all, and that's a great one for little ones to learn. And the last one is called Dots and Boxes. Not sure if you remember that one, but all you have to do is draw dots, and then each person takes a turn drawing one line, and you have to try and finish a box, and then you get points for each box that you finish. So just some simple pen and paper games that you may have forgotten about and are really fun to play. Making your own board game is so easy to do at home and the possibilities are as endless as your imagination. And you don't need many things to do it with. All you need is uh, you could do big pieces of paper, smaller pieces of paper. You could do this on cardboard, um, anything that works like that. And then you need to draw your game on it. Here's a, an example of a little easy one that we did. So you need to decide whether you want it to be curvy or straight. Uh, what's the idea of your game? Some other things that you might need are uh, a dice if you have at home, or if you go to the resources page after our program, you'll see a template for making your own dice that you could do at home. You also need some kind of a little marker or a man to go along your board. We've just used some buttons, but you could make your own out of Play-Doh or clay, or you could use um, little men that you have at home as well. You could also use um, dot stickers to make your board colorful or any kind of stickers that you have at home and coloring as well. And make sure to include action spots. So uh, like in a normal board game, you would put, you know, go back three or jump ahead or maybe it will have ladders or snakes to go down so you could do whatever you want you could have you could have uh, paper money that you make to go with it you could make it like one of your favorite board games for instance we made one that was like Monopoly called Schoolopoly and the board is very similar so that's a little bit more involved so have fun making a board game, whether it's big or small, and make it colorful and fun so that you can all play it together. We hope that you enjoyed our Get Your Game On program today and got some fun game ideas to play with your family or maybe were reminded about games that you had forgotten about. Please don't forget to check the document that is after this video because we have tons of uh, ideas beyond just the games that we talked about here. We also have printables that you can download and print out for free at home. Um, and so please have fun with all these game ideas and we can't wait to hear what you tried at home. Bye for now. <music>